Hey guys, Kevin here on behalf of Simple Tech Reviewers today bringing you an unboxing and overview of the Asus Maximus 7 Hero motherboard from the Republic of Gamers series. Alright, going over some of the specifications of the motherboard. This uses the uh, LGA 1150 socket. Supports the latest Core i7, Core i5, Core i3, as well as the Pentium and Celeron processors. We have a Intel Z97 chipset with support for both Crossfire and SLI. Uh, we have Ultra Premium Audio on this board, uh, support for Windows 8.1. Uh, some of the slots you receive on this motherboard, we have two. Uh, PCI Express 3.0 connect um, ports as well as one PCI Express 2.0 slot as well as three PCI Express 1 slots on the motherboard eight SATA 6 gigabits per second ports for your, your hard drives or solid state drives uh, we also have support for SATA RAID in 0, 1, 5, and 10 configurations uh, onboard audio for up to eight channels. We have 10, 100, 1000 megabits per second um, uh, local area network, as well as a PS2 mouse and keyboard. We have one VGA as, as well as one DVI port on the motherboard. As uh, we also have a HDMI port on the back. The motherboard also has four USB 3.0 connectors on the back and two USB 2.0 and we also have one optical SP diff out. Uh, it's worth mentioning that the PCI Express 3 slots only operate at eight times speed when you have both occupied with uh, either an SLI or Crossfire configuration. So without further ado let's go with un let's go ahead with the unboxing here. I'd like to show you some of the features on this motherboard. Uh, like I mentioned before we have the Supreme FX audio built in so there's no longer need for a premium sound card like what gamers used to do. We also have the Sonic sound stage. Um, you can set audio profiles which with a flip of a switch. We also have Sonic Studio which is a virtual sound generator and uh, as, as well as Sonic Sense uh, for support for those higher end headsets. On the networking side of things we have the Intel Ethernet. Uh, they claim speeds up to two times faster as well as reliability ratings that are uh, that are better than other um, aftermarket LAN makers. We also have surge protection through uh, I believe this is the first time Intel's offering surge protection through LAN guard which uh, protects your motherboard against lightning strikes from static electricity. Uh, some of the some of the other features you get here, uh, the metallic capacitors on the motherboard resist up to 20% higher temperatures and last up to five times longer than traditional plastic capacitors. We also have stainless steel IO IO panels on the back, which resist rust better and last three times longer as claimed. One-sided uh, RAM slots, uh, macro keys, support for customized keys, program your own keys on the keyboard. We have a smart login for the BIOS settings where you can send an account and a password. We have function keys as well. So very nice packaging here. Here's the motherboard itself. Let me zoom out here. There, there's the Maximus 7 Hero. Let's go ahead and open that for you folks here. Again, typ typical Asus high, um, high quality packaging. We have a plastic shroud guarding the motherboard. So let's uh, go over some of the features of the motherboard here. We have two heat sinks flanking both the left and the top of the CPU socket cooling the metal capacitors down. There's your four DDR3 
RAM slots supporting up to 32 gigabytes of um, DDR3. <clears throat> Um, we also have a start button up there for when you're test benchmarking the motherboard out of a case. We also have a reset button. We have a mem test button right there. All over to the left here, we have your 8-pin CPU power connector there. Alright, and like I mentioned before, there's your... LGA 1150 socket. Let's take this guy out for a second. Over to the right on the motherboard, we have your 22, 24 pin power connector for your power supply. We have a USB 3.0 header right there. We also have a PCI Express 1 time slot there, a PCI Express 3 time slot there, PCI Express 3 16 times, PCI, another PCI Express um, 1 time slot, another PCI Express 16 time slot uh, for 3.0, another PCI Express 1 time slot, and a PCI Express 2.0 slot there. So 7 slots total. Notice that they did space this part here for your bigger graphics card. There's your CMOS battery. And this board looks like it has one, two, three, four, five. Looks like there's five fan headers for this motherboard. Zoom out here. There's your uh, heatsink cooler for the Intel Z97 chipset. Again, supporting all those uh, new features found on this motherboard. There's your premium Supreme FX audio, built right in 8 channel audio. Taking the motherboard out of the packaging here. On the, on the bottom here of the motherboard, we have your sound stage test button, your clear CMOS button, your ROG, your ROG connectors, uh, front mount USB headers, as well as your front panel I/O connector right there, and a fan connector. Coming to the side where the connectors are, we have your PS2 mouse and keyboard, two standard USB 2.0 connectors, your SP diff out op, uh, optical audio port there, HDMI port there, uh, your VGA, I don't even know why to use that. We also have a DVI connector there, your BIOS reset button, four USB 3.0 connectors there, and your Ethernet 10 100 1000 gigabit ethernet port there as well as your 8 channel audio again powered by the supreme fx chip that's on the motherboard all right putting the motherboard off to the side we'll go go to, uh see what accessories you get with the motherboard looks like you get two of these sata 6 uh, cables. You got a L angle one as well as a standard one. You get two more. And it looks like you get another two. So that brings a total up to six SATA 6 cables for your hard drives or solid state drives. You have your black IO shield plate. Again made out of stainless steel. We have your ASUS Republic of Gamers logo right there. Everything's nicely labeled. Looks really nice. It is padded on the back to avoid damage to the motherboard. Here is your uh, your front panel I/O connector plugs. This makes it easier to install those connectors, and then you just plug the whole thing into the motherboard. 
also makes it easy when you're trying to troubleshoot or test a motherboard out of a case. We have a SLI bridge here. We have ASUS's um, signature um, cable management labels. We got one for hard drive one, two, three, four. We also have SATA cable labels. Really nice touch. We have a do not disturb card here, door card here. And then we have a beefy ASUS Maximus 7 Hero user guide. Uh, inside you'll find a driver CD. Don't ever use a CD. Go to ASUS's website and download the latest drivers. We also have a ASUS Republic of Gamers case badge. Going over the manual here. A really detailed manual. I believe there's over 120 pages on this manual. It shows you how to install, troubleshoot, and overclock this motherboard. This motherboard is made for overclocking. It's for um, primarily for gaming PCs. Let's go look at the back of the box really quick. Again, we are using this motherboard for our gaming PC build. This just goes over the some of the details of the motherboard that I mentioned earlier. Support for up to 7 USB 2.0 ports and 6 USB 3.0 ports. Uh, regular ATX form factor, so it fits in just about any case. And yeah, that concludes the unboxing and quick overview of the ASUS Maximus 7 Hero Motherboard from their Republic of Gamers series. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Kevin on behalf of Simple Tech Reviewers. Please remember to subscribe, comment, thumbs up, and uh, let us know what kind of uh, videos you guys want to see. Sponsors, please uh, come at us with products. We'll review them. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys.